Welcome to a full day of eating, ladies and gentlemen. Today's goal, we are trying to shoot for 2,500 calories. We are trying to get nice and lean for summer. I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating, a little bit of a push workout. I'm also gonna test my body fat and see where it's at as best as it can. You know, these body fat scanners are not the most accurate. They give you a rough estimate, but we're gonna see where we're at. We're gonna see what we're weighing, see where our body fat's at, take you through a full day of eating so we get nice and lean for summer. If you're cutting for summer, comment down below. Let me know, I'm, I'm kind of curious. How many people are cutting for summer? How many people are just maintaining, main gaining, which not majority of the population does that. Most people bulk and cut. So if you're bulking, comment bulking. If you're cutting, comment cutting. If you're comment maintaining, comment maintaining. For today's breakfast, I am gonna be having just a Quest Bar, protein bar for the day. Calories for this would be 200, overall macros, 21 protein, 21 carb, 14 fiber, and then nine grams of fat as well. In the morning, I don't really have the biggest appetite. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on how much I eat the night before. Today, not really. Probably because yesterday I went out for a brunch and drank quite a bit. So my appetite today is not really the highest. But the good news is we did not wake up with a hangover. That's the best thing. When you know you drink a little too much and you're like, I'm going to hate this tomorrow. And then you wake up and you're fine. And you're like, let's do it again today. Don't, don't do it again the next day. It's not a good idea. Back to back days. Anyways, I'm going to eat this quest bar and I will see you guys at the gym. You know, just when I don't think I can get any better at making French toast, you know, I figure a way out. You see, I know this doesn't look good or like French toast really, but basically what we have is 200 grams of egg whites with the sweetener, vanilla extract, cinnamon. That's the French toast sauce right there. You put your bread in there, I have around three slices of bread. Now, this is a vanilla peanut butter version that I've made up. You take some regular Greek yogurt, plain, non-fat, you add some sweetener, vanilla extract, you mix that around, it tastes like vanilla pudding, it's so good. I then melted some regular peanut butter, or you can use PB Fit if you want things a bit leaner or lower in calories. For me, I wanted the fat because the Quest Bar didn't really have much fat. This, without the peanut butter, doesn't really have much fat. So regular peanut butter, melted it, drizzled that on top with some blueberries, this, is absolutely fantastic. Let's give this a taste test, shall we? It's saucy, it's full of flavor. It's the French toast you know and you love before, but with the vanilla peanut butter action. Mmm! Actually, hold on. It's so good I almost forgot the sugar-free syrup, but you know, you can't forget the sugar-free syrup, it's key. And I always say, the wetter the better. Calories after this are 894, so just shy of 900 calories. Overall macros for the day, we have 76 protein, 98 carb, 23 fiber, and then 28 grams of fat. Also, I got my body fat tested, and according to this paper, or the machine that I use, which is called the InBody, again, it's a rough estimate. I got an estimation of 11.3% body fat. I'm weighing 183.6 pounds at 11.3% body fat. And overall, if I have to say something, I really like 
the way I look right now. I'm pretty happy with my physique as a whole. I'm lean, but I'm not too lean where I feel like crap. I still feel strong in the gym. I like the amount of muscle mass that I'm carrying. Do I want to, you know, be bigger and carry some more muscle? Yeah, but in time, that will happen. And I'm in a position right now where I just, I, I'm in a position right now where I'm, I'm pretty, I'm in a position right now where I'm pretty happy with the way I look. And I can also maintain this level of leanness and maintain the shape that I have for really as long as I want to, which is just a nice place to be in. I'm nowhere near as lean as I was for like hopping on stage, but I'm also not completely sloppy in the off season as well. I look good, I can take my shirt off, go to the beach, feel confident, feel good about myself, which I have to say is a nice place to live in. I'm gonna get maybe a bit sharper for summer, maybe a little closer to nine to 10% body fat, right around 175 pounds, which is just around eight more pounds I have to lose, which isn't too crazy. I think that would be an overall good spot for summer and just maintain that. And then hopefully around this time next year, we can focus on maybe hopping on stage again, doing another show. Because I still want to get my natural pro card. And I do want to branch out from men's physique and maybe compete in classic. That is something I've been thinking about. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys in the next meal of the day. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty, here with meal number three, and what we have are two wraps, four ounces of ground bison. I have two of these Velveeta cheese slices on them, 40 calories per slice, all on a high fiber tortilla. Have some shredded lettuce on there, and then the condiment of choice was just some mustard. The overall calories for the day after this meal are 1304. Overall macros after this meal, 115 protein, 142 carb, 53 fiber, and then 49 grams of fat. I'm gonna eat this while I hop on a Zoom class because it is my last class of my entire life. I am graduating this semester from college. This is it. I only have like 10 to 12 more classes left maybe. I don't know. I'm near the end of it though. But class starts at four and it's 4.01 so I'm a minute late. I'm gonna eat this while I'm in class and I will see you guys in the next meal of the day. Alrighty, here with the next meal and what we have is the ultimate combination. Okay, we have Smart Pop popcorn, 200 calories, as well as a protein pizza. I have on here two servings of fat-free cheese, Joseph Lavash bread, four ounces of ground bison, and then one serving of turkey pepperoni, and then the pizza sauce as well, which is like 25 calories a serving. I mean, look at that bad boy. And then for my beverage, we have a zero sugar root beer. This right here is like the ultimate combination, okay? If you are an OG subscriber to like my very first prep series ever, this was like an everyday thing. Especially when I'm dieting, I don't know, something about it. Usually I try and go with a little sweet and savory combination, but the two savories between the popcorn and the pizza, it's just so good. Overall calories after this meal are 2,000 calories. Overall macros are 186 protein, 217 grams of carbs, 65 grams of fiber, and then 70 grams of fat. Most of what I've eaten has been from Greg's cookbook, and it's pretty high in protein, obviously, because within four meals, we're already at almost 200 grams of protein. Versus what if I were to not eat from it, I, you know, have enough protein, usually throughout the day, but my protein's extra high from the anabolic recipes. And my fiber is also pretty high as well. It's like 70 grams, which honestly, if I can have like 50 plus grams of fiber a day, I would. I just function better. The high fiber tortillas, the Smart Pop popcorn, even the Quest Bar, all of it's super high in fiber, and fiber keeps you more full, especially when you're trying to diet. Feeling full and satiated longer is key to losing body fat. That's enough talking. Let me get this protein pizza a bit of a taste test. What I usually do is I kind of just fold it up into like this taco or burrito style and just go in. Mm. What I love about the protein pizza is you can fully customize it. Add on some vegetables, add on whatever other protein source you want to, whether it's chicken, bison, beef, doesn't matter. Super set in some popcorn right here. Mm. I'm gonna eat this while I watch The Office, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Office, Friends, and Seinfeld is where it's at. This is meal number four, and I will see you guys in the last and final meal of the day. Alrighty, here with the last and final meal, and what I'm having is a peanut butter sandwich. I guess all the fiber throughout the day kind of cut up to me, and I am just not super hungry. It's also getting kind of late and I don't want to have anything too heavy, so peanut butter sandwich will do. After this meal, total calories for the day are 2344, which is fine. If I'm anywhere close to 2500, I'll take it. Overall macros, 198 protein, 252 carbs. We have 69 grams of fiber and then 88 grams of fat. Pretty well balanced day between all the macros. Let's get this peanut butter sandwich taste test, shall we? Mm. 
Reminds me of elementary school. Anyways, this is the last and final meal right here. I'm gonna eat this and then go to bed. I am wrapping the video up here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's been your boy Joe. Peace.